Okay, let's do a quick little science experiment. In science, it's important to uh, take observations and then also draw inferences, conclusions, make hypotheses from that data. But it's also important to keep those two things separate. Observations are basic pieces of data that people really wouldn't dispute, whereas inferences drawn from that data maybe you would have a difference of opinion and they also could be later shown to be wrong. And what's important about science is if the inference, the conclusion, the hypothesis uh, doesn't agree with the data, you reject it and modify it uh, before going on. So I have an object on this plate. I want you to, on your paper, write down two or three observations about it. And so if you're thinking, oh, it's a and you identify it, that's an inference. And you have to be aware that that's an inference uh, from data you're taking. The data, the observations would be the shape, the size, the color, maybe a sketch labeled with, oh, it's about five, six centimeters tall, things like that. And so once you have some data down, your brain is constantly drawing inferences from that data. And that's a good thing. Humans have evolved to constantly come to conclusions about our surroundings as we collect data. But in science, we also want to make sure we're thinking about what the inferences are and whether they agree with other data. A lot of times the data suggests a way to collect more data by doing an experiment. And I would guess a lot of you are thinking, hey, let's try this. And so now that we have this experiment, we have collected some more data. And so you could write down at least one more observation and another experiment, another observation. People sitting near might get an uh, observation from their sense of smell, but most of us are just getting information from our sense of sight now. So now you're probably ready to draw your conclusion. You probably were right away about the identity of this object, but there's one more experiment that you need to see, one more piece of data, see if that agrees with your conclusion. Here it is. So if you thought that was a candle, you're wrong. I wouldn't be able to talk now if that was a candle. And you were very convinced it was a candle. That's gonna happen in this class. There are gonna be things you think you know for sure, and you're gonna get data to say, no, it's not really that way. And you have to let go of those ideas and adopt or new ones or modify the ones you have. And so remember that, you were absolutely convinced that was a candle, and yet it wasn't. What was it? It was delicious. <laughs>